Good morning. It's Thursday morning here in uh, Cypress, Texas. Um, I get to... I'm not doing the mitzvah. It's not really... I'm just part of the... It's at the same time, same people. I'm doing uh, financial literacy training today. But a little different. Um, I got to really... Uh, really work on a mindset. Um, it's very interesting. Uh, the day after Thanksgiving, um, I saw a TikTok with uh, Rush Limbaugh at one of his last, um, you know, appearances on his show, and uh, he was talking about Thanksgiving. And uh, the first Thanksgiving, and he said what didn't get into their history books was that, um, you know, when they, they first got to the Plymouth Colony the first year, the, um, they didn't do too good. They were had a socialist operation, you know, mentality. Everybody owned everything. It was all communal, everything. And uh, the uh, God, what was the name of the William something? William Brad Bradford, I think, was the name of the um, the governor of the Massachusetts colony. And uh, they barely made it through the winter, and uh, a lot of people died. And stuff, and, and um, the Indians helped them out, showed them how to, you know, plant crops, and you know, put the the fish heads in with the the corn, like for fertilizer and all that kind of stuff. And made it grow bigger and stuff, and uh, you know, produce more. And uh, but he he what he decided to do, he saw that the socialist um, model wasn't working. So he divided up all the, their land in, in plots, equal plots, and gave it to the people. They could do with it whatever they wanted. And, uh, he basically, um, encouraged free enterprise and they produced so much that they were able to uh, share that with their Native American, you know, the, the Indian neighbors. And that's what was the, really their celebration, right? The abundance that they were able to produce when they changed their mindset. And uh, so that's what I'm going to be teaching on today. And then I'm going to do one of the workshops. They, uh, I've been looking into the, the Hebrew mentality, the Hebrew mindset, right? And what I'm going to be able to garner as a Hebrew mindset is, um, looking at everything from God's perspective. All right. Not... Um, taking it for taking it this, 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 what I've seen so far this one pastor was teaching about it is taking things not not looking too in depth just taking it for what it's you know face value but that totally flies in the face of what we're learning learning the Hebrew meaning you know, it feels like the New Testament, right? Because everything's translated to the Greek. Then you got to translate the Greek to the Hebrew. And then the Hebrew, it's got the symbols and you have to look at them. And there's this negative and the positive. And you got to really read it and understand what the true meaning is trying to, you know, be imparted by the word in context. Okay negative or positive version of the word which flies totally in the face of what this preacher just said 
So I got to get this from, there's a lady from the church. She teaches the Hebrew, so I'm going to be talking to her. All right. It's a chilly, brisk day. I'm going to get up my, start running, get some body heat going, get my work. I got to get ready for my class. All right. Have a good day.